joining us now to talk about how that winter season is affect is going to uh, affect travel and some interesting activities that Michiganders and, and visitors to our great state will be able to experience this winter is Dave Lorenz, the Vice President of Travel Michigan with the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. Dave, thank you for being with us again. Oh, it's good to be with you, especially on this first day of winter, even though it doesn't seem like it in my backyard. The good news is the farther north you get, the more it does seem like winter. The snow is on the ground. The uh, the ski resorts are making snow on top of all that natural snow they received a few weeks ago. And actually, they've been receiving snow overnight. Even now, it seems impossible to those of us living in the southern part of the lower peninsula. But let me tell you, parts of the UP have feet of snow and even snowmobiles are already out there. So, you know, if you're thinking about doing some skiing this weekend, don't give up on that thought. Just make sure to know before you go and go to the websites. Uh, you can even order your ski lift passes and rental gear and all that in advance. So the great news is the snow is coming, even though it may not seem like it down here. And so, Dave, um, it, it's almost impossible at this point to receive any items from online shopping in time for the Christmas holiday or, or even shortly after that. And it makes it even more of a good time all across the state of Michigan uh, to support many of our great local, locally owned businesses in every region of our, of our state. Uh, this holiday season, how have our businesses with travel uh, being, having increased over the last several months as things have started to open back up again, how have our local businesses across the state been faring this holiday season? Well, you know, after this last year or two, I've lost track of uh, dysfunctionality because of COVID. Mm -hmm. I think people, even though, you know, we all kind of went online and started to buy things, I think people started to realize that, you know, they've been missing out on certain things with online shopping. You miss out on that opportunity to really kind of personally try something on or even just that interaction with a store clerk. Um, I think we've also learned that uh, we're losing restaurants and shops and and uh, people's jobs uh, that we've always felt like we're a part of in the past in our local communities so we are starting to see people going back into those brick and mortar stores going back downtown going back to those malls and i'm really happy to see that so we're starting to transition back it's an interesting thing uh, because i think naturally we may have gone more to online shopping anyway, even without COVID. So, um, you know, I, I think we're starting to better appreciate all these, these interactions that are part of the shopping experience with a brick and mortar purchase. So I'm happy about that. That said, I don't think we're getting uh, enough people still to go back downtown. Uh, now's the time to do it. You have a couple of days before Christmas, of course. All those shops are open right now. Many of those downtowns, have dressed up for the holidays as well. Places like Rochester are just looking beautiful. Even on the west side of the state where I am, Little Spring Lake, uh, beautiful lights everywhere, Little Muskegon, you know, it's just really beautiful to see that happening. So everybody is kind of getting back into this, you know, shop local mood, and I'm thrilled to see it. By the way, we're encouraging people to share pictures of their shopping experiences, maybe their, their special little finds that they're finding at their local shops. So if they wanna share them on Instagram or Twitter and with maybe a picture and then share the hashtag support local MI, please do that. We might uh, then kind of reshare your image with the Pure Michigan social world as well. And you know, everybody follows Pure Michigan socially. So you'll be a, a, a social star on Pure Michigan if you do so. Hashtag support local MI. Again, yeah, that is support local MI is the hashtag. Uh, as you go th and visit local businesses all across the state of Michigan, not only this holiday season, but all throughout the rest of 2021 and into 2022. And so Dave, uh, 2020 was a really tough year for the tourism industry, for local businesses, as well as, as travel into Michigan and, and uh, tourism all, all pretty much shut down because of the, po the pandemic. 2021, a, a different circumstances, still a year of adjustment, still different than, than what we have previously known as normal. But generally speaking, for tourism in, in Michigan, how was the 2021 year? Very interesting. Um, kind of like what we expected. Uh, up north, waterfront communities during the warm weather months, when people were allowed to travel, they did. 
in huge numbers. So some of our smaller communities up north, for instance, had the best year they've ever had in the warm weather months. Uh, but still, um, it, it, I should also say some lesser known places, I think people started to discover or rediscover. So that's all good. The challenge has been our bigger cities haven't seen the numbers of guests that they're used to getting. You know, we didn't have all that business conference convention business that uh, we're used to seeing in those towns. And uh, to some degree, there was, you know, other, you know, special events and such that just didn't happen to the degree that it typically would have. So we're still suffering in the big cities. And that means we're losing a lot of jobs still. Uh, so we're trying to get people to think about downtowns as well. And I have to tell you, you think about right now, uh, the thought of going downtown Detroit is really exciting to me. Uh, Detroit has kept on moving all during the pandemic. They've kept on improving, kept on moving forward. So I don't know when the last time you went to downtown Detroit was, but I've got to tell you, they are they are dressed up for the holiday. The ice skating rink is just looking fantastic. Um, it's it's truly impressive with all the lights. So check out that whole area in the center of the city and then kind of discover the rest of the town as well. Same thing in Grand Rapids, other cities. Uh, they're, they're doing their best to encourage you to come back town, downtown, and I really hope you do, uh, to, to try to keep the momentum going, to get the travel industry back on its feet. And, you know, the rest of the state and the rest of the state's economy is not going to be back on its feet unless the travel and tourism industry gets back on their feet. That's how important supporting retail, supporting restaurants, supporting our special attractions, our big events, our special places is. It's important to our economy. It's important to our psyche. And it's important to us virtually in every way for us to get our lives back. We're joined by Dave Lorenz. He is the Vice President of Travel Michigan with the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. And, uh, of course, we're just a, a short time away from the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing. And uh, when that happens, we, we tend to see a, a greater interest in many of those winter sports like skiing and, and snowboarding, uh, luge, and, and other sports as well, uh, many of which there are great opportunities throughout the state of Michigan uh, to engage with those sports, both for those that are very passionate skiers or snowboarders or those that are just looking to learn some of these winter sports. Where are some places in Michigan that provide opportunities for people to, uh, you know, take in a little bit of the spirit of the Olympic season for the Winter Olympics and learn some of these sports right here in Michigan? I'll try to surprise you first uh, with some things maybe you wouldn't think of. Uh -huh. I was just talking about downtown Detroit. So Campus Marshes, the ice skating rink, you know, it's, it's beautiful first off. Yeah. So think about that. Or a place like Frankenmuth, I would normally put... Uh, Put, uh, I suggest that you go to Grand Rapids to Rosa Park Circle as well, but they've been a victim of the supply, supply chain crisis. They can't get the piece of equipment they needed to make the ice surface this year. But Grand Rapids is doing something interesting for people who want to skate or learn to skate. You can make appointments at Van Andel Arena where the hockey team plays and learn how to skate or skate in the indoor big arena there as well. So think about that in towns. Then think about some more adventurous things, like how about something like luging? Very unique thing to do, and Michigan has two opportunities for you. You can luge up north, but it's not as um, available uh, up north in, um, in the UP. So closest to home, and the most accessible luge track in the country is in Muskegon at the Muskegon State Park. It's at the uh, Winter Sports Complex, and it's fantastic. By the way, if you go there, you can also skate on a skating trail that goes through the woods. It's really cool. Nice uh, dating opportunity as well, a little romantic skating through the woods on a trail that's lighted at night. It's very nice. They have a, a pond hockey, uh, hockey uh, surface as well there. So something to consider. Or maybe check out the cross-country skiing. We have cross-country skiing opportunities virtually everywhere. Some places, like Furbush Corners up north, kind of through the center of the state, um, offer a really fantastic groomed um, cross-country ski experience. And uh, that that's really fantastic. Hanson Hills 
up uh, north as well, offers uh, really cool places to either go cross country skiing or tubing or fat tire biking. And then you go to the places that maybe came to your mind first, the downhill skiing uh, places. Places close to home can make snow. So just know before you go and check out the various websites so you don't go there and find out maybe their ski conditions aren't really great right now, places um, uh, that, that are relatively close to home like Mount Brighton. Or you can go up north. All the ski resorts, the major resorts are open and they offer great experiences. Crystal Mountain, Shanty Creek, the Boyne properties, uh, both at uh, you know Boyne Mountain and up at the Highlands. Uh, incredible. Maybe Treetops Resort or at Seagull Club in Gaylord offer fantastic experiences. And here's another one, kind of close to home, at Treetops. If you don't want to ski, you want to try something just plain fun, try their adventure tubing. It's a blast. You won't feel like an Olympian, but you're going to feel like a kid again because it is just plain fun. We're joined by Dave Lorenz, Vice President of Travel Michigan, joining us on the Megacast with the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. And uh, so many people tout the Upper Peninsula for travel in the fall season to see the foliage, to see the colors, uh, get those breathtaking images and see the great imagery in, in nature here in Michigan. But there's also a lot of really breathtaking sights that people can see during the winter season as well in the UP. What are some of those locations that you suggest if people are looking to travel in Michigan and taking some of the sights of a Michigan winter that they go this season? Yeah, you can't go wrong anywhere in the UP. We're starting right out at St. Ignace. It's just a cool little place when you cross the bridge. They have a big pond hockey tournament that they they hold every year. Uh, January, I think, could be early February, but you know, just check out Michigan.org and look at pond hockey in St. Ignace and you'll find the information. It's a blast. I mean, they have surface after surface after surface of pond hockey ter- uh, places. So they have hundreds of players that come out for that. And it's awesome. Uh, if you go farther north, uh, St. Ignace, for instance, just a great place to go any time of the year because of all the ships that generally come through. They do have a uh, you know, a short stoppage of the uh, freighters for a short time in the winter when they work on the locks. Otherwise, it's just a beautiful place and really good place to do like cross country skiing through the trails or hiking or whatever. Um, in Newberry, a little bit farther to the west, you'll find uh, near Newberry, actually, you'll find Nature's Kennel. Nature's Kennel is one of the places you can do dog sledding. And they'll set you all up. They'll show you how to do it. It's a blast. They even do overnight dog sledding experiences where they get out in the middle of the woods. I thought they did like a tent thing. Turns out they're in really nice places, you know, cabins in the woods type of thing. So something to consider. You keep on going west. Pictured Rocks is beautiful any time of the year. I think in the winter it offers a really special vantage point. Maybe even one where you can enjoy the beauty while you climb the ice of the frozen waterfalls. It's a blast. They have a a ice climbing festival there early February every year. Check out Downwind Sports. They'll actually show you how to ice climb and they have all the equipment as well. And then there's snowmobiling everywhere. Um, And and right now um, in the Munising and Marquette area, the snowmobiling is fantastic. Cross country skiing is fantastic. Maybe in Marquette, just climb one of the mountains like Sugarloaf Mountain. You want to see something beautiful. Check out the view from uh, just one of those mountaintop experiences in Marquette. It's just stunning. And then all the way to the Keweenaw Peninsula, the snowmobiling, cross-country skiing, fat tire biking, mountain biking experiences. You haven't lived until you fat tire bike up to the top of Brockway Mountain and just looked at the view from Brockway Mountain up there by Copper Harbor. It is stunning any time of the year, but I think it's really special seeing the the snow covered mountain and then, you know, Lake Superior on both sides. It's just, it's, it's life changing is how beautiful it is. It really is. Uh, Dave, just another couple of minutes with you before we'll say goodbye today. Anything else that people should be keeping in mind as they're looking to travel throughout uh, Michigan this winter season? Yeah, the, one of the big things is just know before you go, check out the uh, places you want to go to or experiences you want to do because COVID really has changed everything. And it's going to be a while before we uh, we kind of go from this endemic stage to a stage when we really understand that COVID will be with us. We just need to do it safely. So I, you know, I, I'm praying that you've at least talked to your doctor about 
uh, getting your your initial shots and, and your booster as well. Um, you know, because safe travel, this is the way it's going to be. We either decide to get vaccinations and then move on, or we decide to continue this pandemic and endemic stage. We can get to normalcy if we just do our best to think about other people. And if we can't do it at this time of the year, when can we do it? So let's try to do our best to you know travel safely, think about others, and uh, try not to get each other sick right now. Dave, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Hey, remember, your trip begins at Michigan.org.